And as schools prepare to welcome students back, we know colleges and universities are also coming up with their safety plans to help get education ramped back up on their campuses. Our Alyssa Donovan has all the details. Many colleges and universities still have a few weeks before they welcome back students to campus, but in the meantime, they're preparing their safety measures amid the pandemic. We've been hearing from young people and their parents uh, for months. Please find a way to make it possible. We want to come. We don't want to stop our education. Purdue University President Mitch Daniels says around 88% of students have opted to return to campus, while 12% of undergrads have opted for online classes due to either safety reasons or travel bans. The university is taking many safety measures, purchasing more than a mile of plexiglass that will be used to separate professors and their students. They've also designated 500 beds for those who need to quarantine. I don't think you can do too much when you're trying to protect students, and in our case, especially uh, faculty and, and uh, staff and others who might be more vulnerable than most of our students will be. Students heading to Purdue's campus will be required to be tested for COVID-19. Other Indiana universities are laying out similar plans. IU is also requiring students to get tested. Those planning to attend class at the Bloomington campus must get tested within 10 days of arriving. At other IU locations, students will only be required to get tested if they're moving into the dorms. Ball State is adding more classes in the evenings to allow for smaller class sizes. And anyone who's on campus will be required to wear a face mask or a shield at all times, unless they're alone in a workspace or working behind a plexiglass barrier. Daniels says those involved in higher education are exchanging ideas and asking questions to ensure schools are doing the best they can to provide safe learning environments. Nobody can say for certain that we can make this work. Plans have been changing in country after country, state after state, but uh, it's the right thing to try to do. We're going to do literally everything that we think might make it uh, any uh, safer or more successful. I'm Melissa Donovan, RTV6.